Micah is, in modern times, is a mineral used as a thermal conductor. We use it as both a thermal conductor and as an insulator. And incredibly, at Teotihuacan, mica is present in the structure. And historians believe that this was simply for show, as the mica would twinkle in certain lights, but get this, in the two upper parts of the pyramid of Teotihuacan, mica is present. And experts the world over are baffled by this, because this appears to be the case that they were trying to harvest energy from above. They seem to have been trying to use the mica to bring down an energy that they could then harvest throughout the region, and the tunnel filled with mercury under the structure seems to be part of that apparatus. And Mercury 2 has a unique electronic configuration which strongly resists the removal of an electron, and this makes Mercury behave similarly to noble gas elements, and it can be charged electrically under those conditions at Teotihuacan. Alongside the third segment, down from the Pyramid of the Sun, excavations of a series of interconnected subterranean chambers revealed that some of the floors were covered with layers of thick sheets of mica. And this is a silicon whose special properties make it resistant to water, heat and electrical currents. It has therefore been used as an insulator in various chemical processes and electrical and electronic applications and in recent times in nuclear and space technologies. Mica is highly elastic, heat resistant up to 1470 degrees Fahrenheit or 800 degrees Celsius and resistant to both extreme temperature fluctuations and organic acids. Now, maybe you're thinking, this is all for show, to make the wonder look spectacular? And if it wasn't for one incredible fact, maybe no one at all would be at all surprised by this presence to make these connections. But wait till you hear this. The mica present at Teotihuacan has been tested. This mica contains iron, magnesium, lithium, magnazide and titanium. And the nearest source of those elements in the mica mineral is in Brazil. In the state of Minas Gerais, 4,631 miles away, does that not just completely blow your mind or what? Why go to these extreme distances for ornamentation? What the hell is this all about? And how did they do this? They scouted all the way in Brazil? The Aztecs give the wonder its name, Teotihuacan, and this incredibly translates as the place where the gods were created. And the great goddess of Teotihuacan, as it's known, is the main deity. And the great goddess is thought to have been a goddess of the underworld, darkness, the earth, water, war, and possibly even creation itself. And to the ancient civilizations of Mesoamerica, the jaguar, the owl, and especially the spider were considered creatures of darkness, often found in caves and during the night, and this fear of these things is spawning from when they were menacing people in the caves of the earth during the manifestation of the squatter man. And in many murals, the great goddess is shown with many of the scurrying arachnids in the background on her clothing or hanging from her arms and she is often seen with shields decorated with spider's webs. And if we look at other traditions involving the squatter man manifestation, we see that these ideas of the animals assimilate. In European cultures of this time, she was seen as the mistress of animals, or the master of animals, and this directly becomes the first cause of worship in the Potney of Theron, which directly relates to the sky event in the Taurus field. When the Aztecs discovered the wonder that is Teotihuacan in 300 BC, it was already long abandoned. None of the Mesoamerican cultures appear to have been capable of these undertakings, so it must have been made by a technologically brilliant society that tried, maybe even succeeded, in electrifying the ancient city. And to some, it would have acted like a giant circuit board, the mica at the top of the structures connected to the mercury. Energy no doubt flowed, but why? Why were they doing this? What were they powering? Why the vast distances for the mica? What is going on? Did an ancient civilization 3,000 so years ago create an ancient power plant structure? That is Teotihuacan. Harnessing the energy from above. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below, and thank you for watching.